Hi everybody, it's Saltash Mass Tutor and this is a short video, it's more of a, a revision video for looking at the bubble sort and this is all part of the uh, D1 section uh, and part of the algorithms that you get in the A-level maths. Okay, so bubble sort, uh, it's not the most wildly exciting thing, but it is something that you need to know. And so here's a quick revision of the points. Uh, firstly, you're going to consider the first two numbers. Uh, if you do consider they need swapping, or swap if required, then move on to the next pair. And when you've got no swaps, you are done. What does all that mean? Well, you're going to be given a list, something along these lines, and in that list, the first pair is here. That's the first and second number. And the second pair is here, and the third pair is here, and the fourth pair, fifth pair, and sixth pair. That's what that's all about. And the pass is starting from whichever number you start with, and working your way through all the numbers and once you've gone from the first one to the last one then that would be considered a pass not that you passed your exam obviously but that you just you pass through the numbers and I'd just like to also just reiterate swappy means that you have no finishy you must get no swaps to say that you've done the final pass Here's some tips though. Firstly, chant like a loony. Maybe not out loud, you may get chucked out of the examination room, but do chant like a loony in your head. Keep a bit of speed up with this as well. It may sound a little bit odd, but speed is the key to this. In the flow, in the groove and doing it. And do not stop in a pass. If you're in that chain of numbers, keep on going until you get to the end of it. Then pause if you need to. Best way to describe this or show this is though by doing an example. So here it comes. So here's the example, and uh, where are we going on this one? Well, well, the things that we're noting are that we have to arrange in ascending order, it will always be ascending or descending order, the following numbers. And it will also tell you very specifically to do it by whichever sorting method, and in this case, it shall be by the bubble sort. So the first thing that I do is I um, I don't do that, I do this, I write the numbers down and then the next thing I'm going to do is write small to big. I do that for one simple reason, we're in the exam, we don't want to be a, a numpty sausage about this, we just want to get it right, so writing small to big just focuses our mind. And here's the next bit. So here we go, we're in the groove and what I will do is for the first uh, set of numbers and it it actually means original but uh, I just abbreviate it to zero I write the numbers out again so 14, 10, 6, 15 and 9 I suppose that's a little bit unnecessary but you know you can do it and here we go so remember the rules remember that we consider the first pair and if required swap. So I'm going to write P1 for pass 1. I'm considering the first two numbers and they do require swap so I need to go from small to big. So consider 14 and 10 swap. Now I'm going to write this down for this pass but then you'll hear the chant developing the lunatic like chant and but it's now if you like holding in my head the number 14 consider 14 with 6 that would need to swap so 6 would go here and I now move the 14 across consider and again it's all held in my head 14 with 15 again make that consideration and that's okay so I can write 14 in here now I consider the next pair, 15 and 9, that's required to swap, 9 goes here, 15 is the swap, and there you go. So in real time, if you like, I'm going to go through it, and this is what I'm saying in my head, remember, not out loud. 
So consider 14 and 10. Swap. 10. Considering 14 and 6. Swap. Still considering 14 and 15. No need to swap. Considering 15 and 9. Swap. The only thing left, therefore, is 15. End of the first pass. Now, the key thing that you will see here is that some numbers have moved, but 15 cannot and will not move again. So I can almost draw a line there. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can take a count. I'm not going to do this in this particular video, but you may be asked to um, consider how many counts and how many swaps uh, you do. I would suggest you have a count and swap, t swap table at the end here and you just say counts, I don't know, um, sorry, comparisons, not counts, and swaps and just make some sort of uh, annotation here. But as I say, I'm not going to do that in this. I just want to get into the, the groove and the rhythm of this process. Okay, so we've had that discussion, that thought process. Remember, if you're in the pass, then stay with it, basically. So here we go. Pass 2. Consider 10 and 6. Swap. Holding 10 in my head here, consider 10 and 14. That is okay. Holding 14, consider 9. Swap. 14 remains because 15 and 14 do not swap. That's the end of the second pass. And also, you'll notice that we now have two numbers uh, that require no further consideration because there's nothing higher in this part of the list greater than 14 or 15. Okay, let's just change colour to something. Let's go for this colour. Pass 3. Here we go. Pass 3. 6 and 10. Consider nothing required. Consider 10 and 9. Swap. And that's it. 14 and 15 do not require to be uh, manoeuvred. Now I've just moved on to another page here and you might think to yourself, well hang on, I've done it. That is the right ascending order. But remember that final rule that unless there are no swaps and there was a swap in pass 3, then it's not done. So we have to go into pass 4. So pass 4, consider 6 and 9, no. Consider 9 with 10, no. Consider 10 with 14, no. Consider 14 with 15, no. We have a completed pass, no swaps. That is the end of the bubble sort. Okay, so I'm going to go through this next one. I've really cut down here the, um, the wording in the question. I've noted it's ascending, I've noticed I've got to do a bubble sort, and I know these numbers. Um, I would say that pretty much every time I do this I get a different chant coming out. Um, I'm not fussed about that as long as I get into the crazy mad rhythm that I've talked about. Once you've done that, once your head is locked into a process, you are away. So uh, here we go. I'm just going to choose another colour because yellow is beginning to bore me. We'll have white. And so we'll start. So I'll have my original set of numbers. 7, 5, 2, 4, 10, 1, 6 and 3. And I've noticed it's ascending. So I'm going to make that small to big. Remember, I am a fool and therefore I need to keep things, I need to keep things exam tight. And that's what it's all about. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to use yellow anymore and promptly use yellow. So we'll go for a green. Yep, that seems to work. Okay, here we go. So, pass one. Consider seven and five, swap. Consider seven and two, swap. Consider seven and four, swap. Consider, consider seven and ten, seven is okay. Consider ten and one, swap. Consider ten and six, swap. Consider 10 and 3, swap, and 10 goes down there, end of pass 1. And in fact, because uh, remember what I said? Once you're out the pass, you're fine. Think, do whatever you want, have a breather, look around, uh, check your lucky pen is still working. Uh, but I'm just going to mark that off like that. Again, it's just a habit. I know where I am almost in things. Okay, pass 2. 
consider 5 and 2, swap, 5 and 4, swap, 5 and 7, uh, no swap, 7 and 1, swap, uh, 7 and 1, swap, 7, 7 and 6, swap, um, 7 and 3, swap, 7 and 10, remains as it is. Did everybody notice there that I actually paused for a second and almost lost my way? Madness, isn't it? Okay, pass three. Okay, two and four. That's fine. Four and five. That's fine. Consider five and one. Swap. Five and six. Remains as it is. Six and three. Swap. Six and seven. Remains as it is. As it is. And ten. Let's use red. Pass four. Two and four. It's fine. Consider four and one. Swap. Four and five. Remains. F oh, five and three. Swap. Five and six. That's fine. Six and seven. That's fine. Seven and ten. And that remains here. Takes ages, doesn't it, everybody? It is absolutely tedious. But there we go. Phase five. Two and one. Swap. Two and four. That's okay. Four and three. Swap. Four and five, that's okay. Five and six, okay. Six and seven, okay. Seven and ten, and there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and ten. Oh, that wasn't an, that wasn't the most inspiring set of numbers. But be careful here. It's in the right order. But we had swaps, so I have to go into pass six. Consider one and two. No swap. 2 and 3, no swap, 3 and 4, no swap, 4 and 5, no swap, 5 and 6, no swap, 6 and 7, no swap, 7 and 10, no swap, that's the final pass everybody, it's all done. I hope that's helped everybody, this is the Soltash Math Tutor, if you have any questions, anything you want to put on there, just post it and I will try and help. Um, like it, add it to your playlist, again, uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.